All right. Is that it? Is that all I have to talk about before I get into the letters? Uh, Chief Seattle, Fast and Loud, Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins. Oh, the half marathon. I just make little notes here to talk about. I was fucking walking through uh, the Boston Commons, walking through the park, and they were having this half marathon, and all it was was fucking ladies. And uh, fucking women look phenomenal. They were crushing it, right? Running down the street, zero fucking body fat, but still had booties on them. I was loving every fucking second of it, right? Objectifying them as they tried to have a nice eat <laughs> day of exercise. So as I get closer to the finish line, there's some woman on the mic, and it's, I, I don't know, like, she was just being so overly positive, it was annoying the shit out of me. She was announcing every woman that crossed the finish line. I get announcing, like, the fucking top 10, 15, 20, but the, it took me, like, 20 minutes to walk through the park from one side to the other side up by the state house. And all, all I hear the whole time and uh, you know, Marissa Clifford from Attleboro. It's just yelling everybody's name. Abigail Twitzel Nitzel from Marblehead. Today is your day. That's what she said about one of them. Today is your day. And I want to be like, she fucking came in like 70th. It's not her day. It's not nearly a day. She needs to fucking go home and look at some game film. It's not her fucking day. It's not her day by a long shot. She's a coach. She's fired in the first third of that race. Bringing in an interim runner. Today's your fucking day. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous. You know, I get it. Guys run the world. We're a bunch of dicks. We don't give you your fucking due. So, but I got to tell you, there is a way of overcorrecting to the point where all you're doing is making everybody there soft. But I got to tell you, those women running the races, I'm telling you, they probably didn't like that either. They probably didn't like it either. You know what I mean? They're all fucking athletes. Are you an athlete if you're a runner? Or can you just put up with a lot of shit? <laughs> I'll tell you what I like about my girl, man. She's got endurance. I came home and bitched about my job for four hours last night. She never complained. Uh... I don't know, that was just one of those moments where I was just sitting there listening to this fucking woman screaming out all these women's names. You know, Betty fucking whoever, congratulations! I don't understand it. You would think that all of them won some regional fucking running thing, and now they were showing up hyping the race they were going to run, rather than that person she just mentioned came in 47th. Oh, Bill, you know what? The holidays are coming up. Why don't you put a fucking red nose on and fucking take the cunt down a little bit? All right, you might be right. Okay. Last night, I got laid while Breaking Bad was playing in the background from my computer. Okay. Well, thank Vince Gilligan. <laughs> that ain't me. Um, now I had a little trouble keeping the guy up during the act, even though she had the ass I would kill for to see again. So while she was giving me head, which was awesome, by the way, I look up and what do I see on the TV? Billy the freckled face cunt shows up in a truck. This is a true story, by the way. I remember that. That's when we, we shot that one in uh, Santa Fe. We shot that one in Santa Fe when we robbed the, uh, robbed the train. I'm not going to say anything else because everybody... I just started the series. Uh, I must say, I couldn't decide between... Keep watching the scene because I hadn't seen you acting before or enjoying the blowjob. Well, dude, have you ever heard of hitting pause? This guy's like fucking easy. He loves it. I thought I loved Breaking Bad. This guy loves it. He says the whole situation was really awkward because I was imagining you saying stuff like, dude, why are you watching TV while getting a blowjob? What are you, a fig? Uh, he goes, I actually started laughing, not thinking about how uncomfortable that would make her, the poor girl. Oh, no. I was struggling to keep it up while hearing you in my head going, this guy's a fag. Uh, that's my joke, making fun of people who are homophobic, by the way. Just to clarify it before I have to apologize to an overweight blogger on television. Uh, the remote control was not in my reach, so I had to watch the camera alternating between two redheaded cunts. Heisenberg and old Billy Redface. Heisenberg's not a redhead. He had a shaved head. You talking about Jesse Plemons? I don't fucking know. He said, anyways, thanks for ruining a great blowjob, you cunt. I'll see you in Sweden in December. Uh, 
Hey, my apologies, sir, but uh, you guys, you know, I know that you, you're way over there in Sweden, but I would think that you, that, that you guys have remote. I know you have remote controls and you have pause buttons. I've been there. You know? That's really weird, sir. That made me uncomfortable with myself. Getting a blowjob in Sweden. Jesus Christ. It was probably some chick that'd be a fucking 11 over here. And to you guys, it's just another, uh, it's just another chick from fucking Stockholm, right? Um, I always mention that whenever I go over there. When you're in Stockholm, the city of Stockholm, it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, not saying there aren't some regular looking people, but just the percentage of really good looking people is, uh, you know, I, I, literally, I felt like a mongoloid when I was over there. Like I, I really need to, like I had, should have had like a hump limping down the fucking street. Um, so anyways, dude, shake it off. And uh, I hope that girl didn't hear you laughing while she was blowing you because that, that, that could really uh, affect her confidence. So make sure you, she knows why you were laughing. All right. And just say, hey, we're not going to watch TV this time. And then she'll go to blow you again. And then just the sheer quietness in the room is going to make you start thinking about my dumb face again. You're going to laugh again. You have an issue, sir. Uh, all right. The Upper Decker. Uh, 